In this lecture, I am going to explain abrasive jet machining. The aim of this session is to familiarize the students with abrasive jet machining. The instructional objectives, this session is designed to understand the working principle of abrasive jet machining, know about applications of abrasive jet machining. Learning outcomes after the end of the session, students are able to understand the working principle of abrasive jet machining and clear about merits and demerits of abrasive jet machining. Now, let us see that abrasive jet machining. The abrasive jet machining is a non-traditional machining process that utilizes a high speed jet of abrasive particles mixed with a gas or air to remove material from the work piece. It is often used for precise cutting, cleaning and surface preparation of odd and brittle materials. In abrasive jet machining, the abrasive particles act as the cutting tool. These particles are typically made of materials like aluminum oxide, silicon carbide or diamond. The basic setup of an abrasive jet machining system includes a mixing chamber, a nozzle and a control system. The mixing chamber is where the abrasive particles are mixed with the gas or air to form a high velocity abrasive jet. The nozzle directs the jet towards the workpiece and the control system regulates the pressure and flow rate of the abrasive mixture. The high speed jet of abrasive particles impacts the workpiece surface causing erosion and removal of material through micro cutting and brittle fracture. Now, let us see that the setup of the abrasive jet machining here yeah, the gas supply, the gas is supplied through the stored cylinder and there is a regulator wall and there is a filter through the filters the gas is entered and here you can regulate the pressure of the gas and this is the chamber that uh, where the powder uh, uh, is mixed with the gas okay. and uh, this entire uh, in the bottom we are providing the vibrator to evenly mix the, um, the powder particles. Uh, the abrasive particles with the uh, user gas and that high pressure mixer will enter through this pipeline and here you can operate this wall through foot that is a foot control wall and with the foot control wall you can operate uh, this uh, abrasive jet that is a uh, that passing through this uh, nozzle and here we are providing the hand holder you can hold this hand nozzle and the nozzle is directing on the workpiece and the jet is impact on the workpiece and uh, due to this high impact of this abrasive jet the material is uh, comes out and here providing the the um, uh, shield of uh, uh, without any flashing this material to the outside the environment you can protect you know, the, that with the help of the, some hood shield you are provided and uh, whatever the gases are uh, liberated generated that can escape through this exhaust uh, pipe. This is the main uh, the setup is used in abrasive jet machining. Now, let us see that uh, abrasive jet machining working principle. The working principle of abrasive jet machining involves the following steps. One is uh, generation of abrasive jet. Just now uh, watched that uh, setup uh, how we can generate the abrasive jet. Abrasive jet is created by mixing abrasive particles with a carrier gas. The gas and abrasive mixture are passed through a nozzle or a specially designed tool called an abrasive jet nozzle. So, acceleration of abrasive particles, the mixture of gas and abrasive particles passes through the nozzle which narrows down the cross sectional area. This leads to an increase in gas velocity and acceleration of the abrasive particles. The velocity of the abrasive particles can reach several hundred meters per second. So, the directing the abrasive jet. The high velocity abrasive jet is directed towards the workpiece surface and needs to be machined. The nozzle is positioned at a specific distance 
from the workpiece and the direction and movement of the nozzle determine the machining path. Material removal. When the abrasive particles strike the workpiece surface, they extract efforts and cause the removal of material through the erosion. The kinetic energy of the abrasive particles is converted into mechanical energy, which results in the removal of a small chips or fine particles from the workpiece surface. The erosion process is similar to sand blasting, but with much higher velocities and smaller abrasive particles. Controlling parameters. Various parameters can be controlled to optimize the machining process. These include the type and size of abrasive particles, gas pressure, nozzle diameter, standoff distance between the nozzle and workpiece, traverse rate of the nozzle and the angle of impingement of the abrasive jet. Removal of debris. During the machining process, the removed material and abrasive particles form a mixer called slurry or abrasive laden fluid. This mixer is typically collected and separated from the gas steam using a suction system or a filter. What are the main applications of abrasive jet machining? That you can uh, see that deburring and edge finishing is the main application of this uh, uh, abrasive jet machining and micro machining. You can machine the micro and surface cleaning and preparation. Wherever the surfaces are, we need to clean uh, and prepare for further operations. Then you can use this abrasive jet machining to clean the surfaces and prepare the workpiece for further uh, work. Then cutting and shaping hard materials. Very hard material you can easy to cut using abrasive jet machining. Drilling and hole machining. You can make the drill and hole uh, for hard materials that can be possible using the abrasive jet machining. And etching and engraving. That etching and engraving operations also possible with this uh, abrasive jet machining. Aerospace and automotive industries uh, uh, real, uh, frequently they are used to this abrasive jet machining and uh, restoration and uh, conservations also that one of the uh, uh, application and electronics manufacturing in electronic field also we are using uh, these abrasive jet machining operations and medical and dental applications also there is a wide applications of abrasive jet machining. So, these are the few 10 applications are quoted not this two other applications also there, but the, the some of the few applications uh, are mentioned in this uh, session. Next, uh, abrasive jet machining what are the merits and demerits also you can able to know. So, what are the merits first we will see that this is the non dermal process, there is no dermal uh, acting of these places and uh, no mechanical forces. Here uh, the, um, uh, the abrasive jet is uh, contacting impinging on the workpiece, there is no direct contact of the nozzle and workpiece, so there is no mechanical forces are acting and ability to mission complex shape of the objects you can able to mission and wide material compatibility this can be used to the several uh, the lot materials uh, more, all materials are compatibility will be there. Then the minimal tool wear, tool wear is very minimum because there is no direct contact of the tool and workpiece. Surface finish and cleanliness is achieved, you can obtain the acceptable surface finish and cleanliness of the surface that is the one merit of uh, this abrasive jet machining. Then environmental friendliness, there is no uh, the pollution of environment where we are working this uh, abrasive jet machining. And the flexibility and adaptability, it is flexible and adaptable any type of environment and any type of material you can mission using this uh, abrasive jet machining. So, these are the few the merits of uh, abrasive jet machine. Now, you can see that uh, demerits also everything having some merits and demerits. Now, you can see that what are the demerits of abrasive jet machining. First one is uh, slow material removal rate. So, material removal rate is very slow it will take lot time to finish uh, the required machining of the component. The limited material thickness, the thickness is also limited, not all thickness materials are suitable for machining the abrasive jet machining. 
then surface integrity and roughness control. So, the surface integrity and roughness control is somewhat uh, uh, not acceptable that is one limitation of this abrasive jet machining. Next, restricted depth control. The depth control also restricted, it is not going the in depth. Up to certain depth, you can able to do it and after that it is not possible. That is the one uh, demerit of this uh, application. Next, limited accuracy in certain applications. In some, as a, its accuracy is uh, limited than noise and dust generation. So, there is a lot of noise is uh, and dust will be generated for that we are providing some uh, shield and operating the machining. And equipment complexity and maintenance. So, maintenance is somewhat uh, complexity for this abrasive jet machining setup. And abrasive particle selection and disposal is also one of the uh, typical task. So, these are the uh, all related to the abrasive jet machining. So, in this session, I hope everyone understand uh, what is the working principle of abrasive jet machining um, and uh, what are the, um, um, the setup used in the abrasive jet machining, what are the different applications of abrasive jet machining and what are the merits and demerits that we have seen. I hope everyone understand uh, abrasive jet machining.